Hello guys and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've done this as I'll be going through the changes coming in the new season 9, which should be available by the time I release this video. And after that, I have a nice gameplay for you. One thing to keep in mind before we start, I will only mention the big changes that might actually make a difference. Let's start with the first big change done to the Shockwave class. This isn't the first nerf done to this class, they already nerfed it before and now it's getting nerfed again. Well technically it will receive both a buff and a nerf, but overall it's a nerf. So without an upgrade, nothing changed. You only get one Shockwave available. But after the upgrade, they reduced the number of Shockwaves available from 2 to 1. And to balance things out a bit, they reduce the time needed to recharge the skill. So again, it will be the same without an upgrade. But after the upgrade, it will go down from 40 seconds to 36 seconds. The next big change has been done to the Desperado class, as it will be getting a total of 6 buffs. First of all, they improved the aim assist on the turret, which will allow you to hit targets easier than before. Second of all, they made a huge buff to the damage. So at the first range, which goes from 0 to 15 meters, the damage has been increased from 55 to 65. And at the second range, which goes from 15 meters to 30 meters, the damage has been increased from 50 to 60. Then at the third range, which goes from 30 meters to 50 meters, the damage has been increased from 45 to 48. And at the final range, which is plus 50 meters, the damage has been increased from 40 to 45. As for the third buff, they've added a 1.1 damage multiplier to the chest and arms. And to give you guys an idea on what that means, anywhere within 30 meters, it will take 5 turret shots to knock an enemy with 300 HP instead of 6 shots if you aim to the chest and arms. They also increased the damage bonus against vehicles from 100% to 200%, which is insane because that means you can destroy a vehicle like the Antelope within 1.35 seconds only. Next, they adjusted the bullet speed to 640 meters per second, which will allow you to hit moving targets at longer distance a lot easier. And finally, they've added a bullet impact value of 3 to the turret. And if you don't know what that means, it's a stat that has been added recently, and it affects the hit flinch. And if you don't know what hit flinch means, it's the screen shake you get when an enemy shoots at you, which makes it harder for you to aim. So having a high bullet impact means you'll be causing a lot of hit flinch to the enemies, which will make their screen shake more, and as a result, they will miss more shots. After that, we have another buff done to the kinetic station. So they increased the bonus armor from 50 to 75 without an upgrade. And they increased it from 70 to 100 after the upgrade. So it's like having two extra kinetic shields on you. Those were the class changes. As for the guns, the biggest change has been done to the AK-117, as it received a buff and a nerf at the same time. So for the nerf, they slightly decreased the aim assist on the AK-117. And it's something I mentioned in my top 10 guns video. This gun has an aim assist that's pretty much a legal hack, and it definitely needed a nerf. But even with this nerf, I still believe that it will remain the number one assault rifle in this season, especially with the range buff it received, as they increased the first range from 12.5 meters to 14 meters and the second range from 23 meters to 25 meters. Another change worth mentioning is the M13 damage buff, as they increased the damage at the second range from 18 to 19, and the damage of the third range from 16 to 18. And finally, the AK-47 buff, as they decreased the ADS speed from 270 milliseconds to 250 milliseconds. And honestly, I didn't think this will make a lot of difference until I tried it in-game. You can actually feel the difference. Moving on to the gameplay, it's been a while since I posted an Alcatraz game. So today I'll show you a very aggressive high kill gameplay where I had my awareness and reaction on point. So I was just melting everyone in my way. I hope you guys enjoy. Your 
System hacked. Find the hacker nearby. Quickly. left getting close to victory never ever jump into the water if the enemy is underwater as it puts you in a huge disadvantage other than being greedy for the kill i thought the enemy was distracted with my teammate but he was actually focused on me trying to get his revenge I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And if you did, then a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.